Hi, my name is Brent Ford and I'm a teacher at El Cajon Valley High School. I'm here with one of my students, Mr. E.B. He's like one of the coolest dudes that you've ever met. And today we're recording a video podcast uh, about just kind of the life of E.B. Um, a lot of people have written in to the show and they want to know more information about E.B. Like, uh, like what types of things does he like? Uh, what types of things does he not like? And um, pretty much just, they, they, they're kind of, you've got a lot of fans out there, E.B. A lot of fans that just kind of want to know more about you. Are you okay with that? You see, he seems a little kind of distraught about that, but maybe if we ask him some questions, we'll kind of, we'll kind of get into some of his, his inner likings, okay? Number one, E.B., do you like to tell jokes? He's kind of giving a face about maybe he is not joking around right now. But I remember E.B. dating back to the beginning of the time that I met you, which I think was maybe your freshman or sophomore year. You participated in what we call open mic night. Do you remember open mic night, E.B.? And at open mic night, I believe that you were lifted, the whole chair and everything, you were lifted up on the stage. I don't know if you remember this. And we hooked up a uh, device to you and you were able to tell jokes to all the people at open mic night. It was hysterically funny. Everybody was laughing. You were the comedian of the whole show and people loved you. So now the public is reaching out to you, E.B. They want to know, do you like to tell jokes? Do you like to make people laugh? Hey, Mr. Ford. So I think pretty much that says it. Um, here's the next topic. E.B., people want to know, do you like long walks on the beach and candlelight dinners? So from the look that I see from E.B., I am guessing that, yes, he does like that kinds of stuff. And, yes, he is open to dating. <laughs> Would you say, are you kind of, are you, you know, let's use the Facebook terminology, E.B. Are you, are you in a relationship? Is it complicated? Is it, are you single? What is your current status with relationships? I can tell by the smile on E.B.'s face that he is definitely into um, just kind of playing the field right now and just seeing what's out there. And we appreciate that about you, E.B. E.B. says, you know, it's his personal preference to not get into any serious relationships until he's 30 years old. He feels like that's probably the time when, am I, am I right, E.B., that he feels most comfortable uh, where he'll be mature enough to he'll hold a – um, a solid relationship, and maybe the other person as well, okay? E.B., that was great. We have one last comment here. Uh, our viewers are writing in right now. They would like to know from E.B., who is your favorite teacher, E.B.? Rumor has it, it's Miss C. But then there's also people that say Mr. Ford might be your favorite teacher. Do you have a preference on who your favorite teacher is? Or is it a tie, E.B.? Because that could also be. It could be a tie. It's a six-way tie. It's a six-way tie between Mr. Ford, Miss C. What about Mr. Brinks? Is he one of your favorite teachers? I got the card. Right? He's got the card. He cruises around. Anyway, guys, I think we've, uh, we've invaded into E.B.'s life long enough. We want to thank you for listening to our video podcast today. And just know that wherever EB goes, that's where I'll be. Have a great day, Braves. Don't move, EB. Just stay like this, and the credits will be rolling over the top of us. Don't, look, don't move your mouth when you're talking. There you go. And that should be enough time for the credits. And cut. Wow, that was amazing.